This is going to be the fastest kind of overview of cognitive science you're ever going to hear before we get to, to Torsten here. But what we've learned so far about the relationship of the mind and the body when it comes to emotions, it's not the old idea that we had that emotions are something that sort of happen in your head. What we're discovering is that emotions are a fundamentally physical experience. They are triggered by the body, they are amplified by the body, and they are interpreted by the mind. So we have wonderful studies now that are showing that the experience, the physical of an experience of an emotion comes first before the firing of the brain in the part of the brain that tells you what that emotion is. Okay, so this is actually, if you want to understand what this is, this is a map from six different cultures around the world showing heightened or lowered sensitivity when these experiences, when these emotions were experienced. Now, the reason this is so fundamental is that cognitive science has also told us that emotion is the physical root of memory. So the Nobel Prize winning biologist Eric Kandel discovered this biological root of memory and he found that when neurons come together and they form these synapses, which are the points when neurons share information, where memories are wired into your brain, those grow and those multiply when there is emotional content present. So if we think about what that means, we put that in combination. If we are cutting ourselves off from our bodies and our environments, we are diminishing our sense of our experience, which is diminishing our capacity to remember what happens in that context. That is one of the fundamental reasons why I think there's so much confusion in the use of IT and why these virtual technologies, like what they're doing at Lufthansa, are creating such excitement because they're creating embodied emotional experiences that are fundamentally more memorable. So all of the day that we're looking at, when we look at what happens when people experience these virtual experiences, their bodies are being activated, the emotions are being heightened, and the memories are being deepened. I think this is a fundamentally important lesson for marketers in understanding this technology. We are at the beginning of tapping into something very, very powerful. Um, we can get in, you can talk to, the, talk to me about the cognitive science later. Uh, one of the best laboratories in the world that has been doing research on this for 40 years is located right here in Barcelona. And what they have learned about the social psychology of VR is, is going to be amazing for marketing, is going to be amazing for brands. And so I'm very excited to see uh, what Torsten is going to show us here because Lufthansa has been doing some awesome experiments really taking us into that world and finding out what can we do and how does it have impact.